This question comes from a reader, and it involves a vitamin that we don't think or hear too much about, and that's a vitamin K. Uh, the reader writes, I can't find any information on vitamin K2, which directs calcium to the bones instead of the arteries. Can you help me? Well, I sure can, and it's a very important question. Now, in medical school, we students are taught about vitamin K, and it's usually in the context of its first letter, and that means uh, vitamin K. Uh, the K stands for the first letter of the German word coagulation, uh, and you can tell from that that it's indeed involved in blood clotting, uh, and it's important to keep the vitamin K level up, especially in, in young children, uh, to avoid uh, bleeding problems. That said, a very important point is that there's at least two main forms of vitamin K, vitamin K1 involved in blood clotting, but vitamin K2 is also very important, and as we've learned, that uh, vitamin directs calcium that we take in in our diet to go into our bones as opposed to calcifying our artery walls and our tendons and other places that you don't want calcium depositing. So it's really important to consume uh, vitamin K. Now, which form? Vitamin K1, vitamin K2? Turns out Mother Nature's got you covered. Uh, if you just consume sufficient amounts of vitamin K1, uh, and we're talking about 90 micrograms a day for adults. Basically, that's a cup of spinach. It's in dark green leafy vegetables. So a cup of spinach, a cup of kale, a cup of broccoli will meet your vitamin K1 needs very handily. And from there, your gut bacteria and your body take it away because it's your gut bacteria and enzymes in your own tissues that will make the conversion of that vitamin K that we eat in the greens into that vitamin K2 that directs calcium uh, into your bones instead of your arteries. And so people are all concerned about where am I going to get your vitamin K2. Uh, but the truth is uh, your body, mother nature, and your microbiome uh, takes care of that for you. But it is an admonition to eat your greens like your mother said. Uh, it really is important to at least once a day. You want to have a big, generous helping of something dark and green, kale, collards, bok choy, uh, spinach, asparagus. Uh, these dark green, green leafy vegetables are really important because they contain so many good things. They contain magnesium. They contain calcium. And yes, they contain vitamin K, uh, which your body will convert into vitamin K2. So eat a cup of greens at least every day. And the uh, Vitamin K2 levels ought to take care of themselves, uh, as will your bones, as long as you use them. See my video on healthy bones on how to reverse osteoporosis and keep those bones strong. Dr. Michael Clapper here, and I want to thank you for visiting my channel and for watching this video. I've got a lot more content that I'm creating to answer health-related questions for you, my viewers. So please uh, subscribe to my channel down here. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and comment on it. Thanks for helping to spread the word about the power of whole food plant-based nutrition to heal both people and the planet.